Hey you! Yes, you! Have you ever wanted to play an open world Pokemon game? Now, what if the world is procedurally generated? On top of that, what if you could build a kingdom to call home? Oh, and of course, a feature that everyone's clamoring for. What if you could play this game on Stadia? Okay, that might be a little bit of a stretch, but hello my cookies, welcome back to the channel. If those features that I previously mentioned sound intriguing to you, then get ready. Today we'll be talking about Sky Climbers, the newest Kickstarter hit that you should know about. In Sky Climbers, the world is your oyster. Explore the infinite biomes, each looking just as beautiful as the previous. There are unique fauna, flora, and foliage in each biome, which you can hunt, harvest, or even tame. Kingdoms and races populate the whole world, letting you interact with the settlements or recruit them to your own dynasty. There are also temples around the world that let you travel from one edge of the infinite world to another. Another aspect of the game, frankly the most important, is the taming. Like Pokemon, you can catch monsters called Sentias and level them up, unlocking new moves and abilities. However, where this game deviates from the Pokemon series is what makes it intriguing. Any Sentius that is large enough can be ridden on land, water, or air. When you're on the battlefield, you can use your Sentius in real-time combat. With real-time combat, you can use the environment to your advantage. For example, you can burn enemies with the grass or attract lightning. An aspect I haven't mentioned yet that could potentially make this game infinitely better than Pokemon is multiplayer. Voyage, survive, and build through this beautiful world with a friend, if you have one. Recently had an argument with your wife of 30 years? Well, just boot the game up and have some Sentius battles. It may not save your failing marriage, but it's hard to admit that it isn't fun. Other than PvP matches, you can have co-op matches and multiplayer ranked matches. Phew, that's a lot of matches. Let's move on. Now, let's talk about its Kickstarter success and what you can do to purchase this game. As of writing this script, Sky Climbers has raised $180,000 exceeding its measly $25,000 goal. 3,443 people have backed this project, and if you want to be one of them, you can click on the link in the description down below before March 11, 2021 and back the project. The $30 option gives you a digital game key, flash drive, digital soundtrack, and a digital art book. Moving up to the $40 option, you get everything from the lower tiers as well as two digital alpha keys and an extra digital game key. For $65, you get a physical edition of the game, and for $85, you get a plushie of one of the starters. As for release dates, the PC edition is expected to release in quarter 4 of 2021. The console, mobile, and Stadia editions are releasing in the middle of 2022. As for alphas, PC alpha begins in quarter 2 of 2021, while the other editions begin alpha in quarter 4 of 2021. So what do you think? Are you planning on backing Sky Climbers, or are you planning on waiting for reviews? For me, it seems very intriguing, I'll be sure to pick it up on Steam on its release. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Consider subscribing as it would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this cookie, and I'll see you all next time.